Now we are going to learn how to create a frequency table like we did before, but instead of just getting the total frequency of all of the individuals together, we are going to sort them out by sex. You can do this for any categorical variable, um, and this will allow us to compare the frequency of work status in men and women. So to do this, we need to first go to data, and we will split file. So normally it would be on this, which is analyze all cases, do not create groups. But if we want to create groups, we need to click on compare groups. And it's already on sex, but yours should look like this. You will click on compare groups. And we want to sort by sex, so you will click that over there. And now it will compare the groups based on the sex of the individual. So click OK. Then we are going to do what we did before, which is we are going to go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Frequencies, and Work Status is already in there because the last time we used this box we use the variable work status you can always reset that and it will clear it we can just do it again work status so now this is going to give us the frequency and because we have split the file it's going to show us men compared to women so you can see here we have the summary box and we have 500 individuals that are males and 500 individuals that are females with zero missing and now here, instead of all of the individuals together, we have men and women separated. So again, this column is the absolute frequency, and then we have the relative frequency. Oftentimes, we are more interested in the relative frequency. Not always, but here we are. So the way that we can interpret this is we can say that of all of the men in our data, in our sample, 56.2% are currently not working, while 43.8% are currently working. Of all the women, 59.2% are not working, compared to 40.8% that are working. Now, to turn off the split file, this is important if you want to continue doing analysis, but you don't want them to be separated by sex, or maybe you want them to be separated by a different variable. We have to go back to data, split file, and click on analyze all cases, do not create groups, and OK. And now it is back to normal without splitting the file. Another way that you can do this more quickly is you can click on this box and this box um, remembers the things that you have done. So you can see split file was the last thing we did. Just click on it and it goes back there instead of having to go through the whole process.